Peace, everybody. It's Brother Ravana Noon. Back once again. Uh, promoting the class for this Sunday. We are going to be going into part two of Awakening the Chakras and the Left Hand Path of Tantra. We will go on a serious journey and do a few parts of this topic dealing with the left hand path of tantra chakras and how to work with chakras while on the left hand path so uh some of the books that you may need for the next several uh presentations are this book awakening awakening the chakras seven energy centers in your daily life as well as serpent power by arthur avalon as well as tantric kali which i will get a physical hard copy today um so these are some of the books that you want to get for the next series of classes or lectures, which we'll probably do four or five parts, going in depth and really deep into the left-hand path of Tantra, the left-hand path in the Eastern spirituality, uh, more so in India, and as well as the chakras and how to work with them on the left-hand path and how they're associated with your daily life and your actual growth on the left-hand path. Uh, it's not just a a uh, spooky concept of the chakras and oh my chakras are out of balance and oh woe is me that's not what this is about we're going to deal with the darker or shadow aspects of your chakras and we're going to deal with that side because people tend to avoid their shadow self they tend to avoid the darker aspects of themselves and those that part or that aspect is very important to your personal growth and spiritual development. And if you don't deal or focus on that part of yourself, then you're doing yourself a disservice. It's okay to just be fluffy and light about the chakras and, oh, it's so beautiful and I have to balance my chakras, but you can only truly balance or harmonize your chakras if you deal with the darker or shadow aspects and stop putting them off it's easy to deal with the light side or the nice side or the positive side of yourself but it's more difficult for people to deal with the darker aspects of themselves so we'll go into that we'll also go into how it relates to vampire magic and how to utilize the chakras and vampire magic also go, like I said earlier, into left-hand path tantra, Vama Marga, as it's called, okay, which is utilizing the power of the feminine energy. It's not just female worship and the worship of the goddess. It's utilizing that feminine perspective and power and learning how to worship it inside of self. Regardless if you're a male or female, males, all males have feminine energy. It's learning how to integrate the feminine energy and the masculine energy into a connected or integrated harmonized person. That is essential because far too long we make the feminine something external and fail to realize that it is something internal that can be worked on and the inner alchemy will bring, bring the integration and the harmony of the two. So this is what we'll be going into and in dealing with these aspects on a more uh, deeper level. So get some of those books. Once again, that Serpent Christ, I mean, sorry, the Serpent Power by Arthur Avalon. Okay, as well as Awakening the Chakras. Seven energy centers in your daily life. And that's by Victor Daniels, Cooch Daniels, and Peter Welter Vrede. 
all right? So try to get these books, study them, go over them so we can go into in-depth study of the left-hand path of Tantra or just the left-hand path overall in the Eastern spiritual systems and magical systems, as well as the chakras and also coming from a left-hand path perspective. Uh, for that, you can go into the Vampire Gate, Vampire Magician book by Michael W. Ford. And we're going to, hopefully, as people acquire these uh, books, we can go into more in-depth questions on how to really work it in your life and make it something beneficial for your growth. All right? So try to get that. Also, check out serpentcrystals.com. It has all the things you need. Well, I can't say all the things, but it has many of the things you need to work your magic on the left-hand path. It has things you need to work your chakras. It has things you need to work vampire magic. It has many of those things, so check it out at your opportune time and see if you find something that you need to work your rituals. Okay, so once again, I will be seeing you all Sunday at 7 p.m. And we'll be focusing on chakras, left-hand path, tantra, left-hand path, vampire magic, and things of that nature. So come prepared, come with questions, and I will be checking you out on Sunday at 7 p.m. Peace.